Hey guys, uh, good afternoon. My um, videos are still kind of uh, blurry. Um, however, I decided to report to you guys from my bedroom floor. It is so hot and um, I had to turn off my fan so I could do this. I'm sweating like a freaking pig. Um, so I went to Target the other day. Apparently Fremont has this huge ant problem. My sister's boyfriend exclaims that um, the city was built on top of a huge ant hill, which is completely illogical. However, um, I'm beginning to believe him. Um, I find ants in my room all the time. They're just everywhere. They're all over the shower. It's almost gotten to the point where I'm just like, whatever, ants. Um, but I went to Target. I just needed to pick up a few things. I needed to pick up toilet paper, ant spray, and those little receipt books, you know, so that um, I have proof that I paid rent. Um, very random shopping list. So um, I went to this Target, kind of unfamiliar with this that Target that I went to. Um, so I looked all over, couldn't, for some reason couldn't find what I needed. I went up to a lady, um, well, probably a girl roughly around my age, and I go, excuse me, do you guys, um, can you show me where the toilet paper is, um, ant spray, and some receipt books? And she's like, oh, okay. Um, here, let me show you where the toilet paper is first. So I go and head over to the toilet paper section and um, decide, um, and she shows it to me, and I'm like, oh, okay, great, that's awesome. Um, so she proceeds to explain to me the different types of toilet paper. I pick up the store brand, and I'm just, you know, whatever. And she's like, you know, this brand right here, Quilter Northern, of course I bought it. You know, she had to explain it to me. Um, it's double rolls, so it's like 12 rolls instead of six, instead of the Target brand being, you know, six rolls for the same price. Um, however, the Quilt in Northern happened to be on sale. I told her, I was like, you know, I don't care about the quality of the toilet paper. I'm wiping my ass. What do you, anyway, yeah, wipe my ass with, you know, towels? You know, I don't care what the quality of the toilet paper is, as long as it's cheap and does the job. So she giggled and thought that was completely hilarious. Um, and then next, um, she decides, decides to show me the ant spray. And I'm thinking, wow, do I really need this girl to, you know, help me decide what I'm getting? She explains to me the diff the, well, exactly what ant spray does. I, like, I had no idea what ant spray did. Um, completely at a loss. I'm completely retarded or something if I don't know what ant spray does. Um, does it kill flies? How about spiders? I don't know. But if it's ant spray, I would have to safely assume it kills ants? Hmm. May have to think about that one for a little bit. Um, so I sat there contemplating which one I wanted to pick out, and she proceeds to explain to me the different smells of the, of the ant sprays. Um, I picked up Raid Lemon Scent. Um, it's very lemony. Um, she picks up the bottles and explains to me that the smells are different according to the bottles. There was a pink bottle that was mountain fresh, and there was a purple one that was, you know, country fresh, and there's lemon scent, and there's plain, and oh my, all these choices. Didn't know what to do with myself. Thank God I had this girl there to help me. I mean, if it wasn't for her, I don't think I would have been able to leave the store. I would have been so confused. So she guided me in finding lemon scent. She asked me what my favorite smell was. I usually tend to go with lemon. Pick up this bottle and she explains to me that Raid kills on contact. Just kill them. And um, there's no lingering chemical odor. Didn't know how to read myself. Um, oh my god. And it kills roaches? This is like a two-in-one deal and I cannot believe it's in Spanish. Meta Hermingas y Cucarachas. I don't know Spanish. If it wasn't if it wasn't for her, I think I'd be lost too there. Or lost at that point too. But I'm really grateful that this girl had helped me find this ant spray um, and explained to me the differences and all the smells. Don't know what I would have done without her. And then we decide to go look for the receipt papers. She tells me that her dad uses receipts. Congratulations. Um, 
I don't know what to do. How do you respond to that? Cool. I'm glad your dad uses receipts. I mean, that's a pretty fantastic hobby. Yeah, my dad owns a business. Okay. Um, where are the receipts at? So we get to the office area, which I had looked already, didn't find it. She goes, I don't think we have any. I go, um, okay, thanks, that's all I need. And she goes, are you sure you got the right toilet paper and the right ant spray? Is everything going to be fine? And I go, yes, it's going to be fine. I was like, you know, I just got to get rid of some ants and wipe my ass. And she giggles, like, why else would I be buying this? So I can snort the ant spray? It, like, fucking retard. So, um, I thought I'd share that with you guys. It was pretty awkward. You know, weird shopping list it had to be accompanied by a weird target member. One of her eyes were kind of off, so she looked like a chameleon or a lizard. Those weird ones with the eyes. Um, so I couldn't help but stare at the eye either. Um, well, I think that's about it because I don't have anything else exciting to share. Um, at some point, I actually want to discuss how my house has become, or how my there's a poltergeist in my house. Um, but that's for another time. I'm sure you guys will enjoy that. Probably not because no one probably watches my videos. I just do this for a few people. Bye, guys.